Most people don't even know what solving literal equations means. Like when I first heard about it, I had zero clue as to what literal equations means. <laughs> but it's basically an equation that's super weird looking and has no numbers. And you're thinking, I don't even know like where to begin. So an example would be AB equals CD, and they say something like solve for B. And the good news is, is these are actually easy. You just have to get one letter alone. Whatever letter they decide, the powers that be, uh, decides that you need to get alone, you just get it alone. And then you kind of just follow like the basic math principles, the laws of normal algebra to get it alone. And I think since there's no numbers, in some ways it's actually easier. So like this one. So solve for B. This guy needs to be alone, bottom line. Whatever's around him, whatever situation we have, we need to get it out and B has to equal something. So in this case, the only thing going on is this A, this annoying A is attached to him. And remember, if two letters are written next to each other, they're times. So this is actually A times B. What's the opposite of multiplication? What's the opposite of times? You divide both sides by A, and this literal equation would be B equals C, D over A, and it's totally done. So they are easy. They're weird um, at first, but if you know your little laws of algebra, they're pretty easy. So let me give you another one. I got endless. Okay, so they'll get increasingly lame. The first couple are pretty straightforward. Uh, here's another one. Q equals 3P over A. And then in this case, they say solve for A. In other words, get A alone. And it's kind of weird. Like, I don't really know what to do. The A is on the bottom. How do I fix that? How do I get it to the top? One way is to picture this Q as being over 1 and then cross multiply. I think a simpler way is to say, <coughs> I don't want A in the bottom. Um, and so really 3P is being divided by A. So the way to get A to the top is do something to both sides. I would multiply both sides by A, right? And that would cancel my A here, and then I have AQ equals 3P. I'm not done. A isn't alone, but at least it's like not a nightmare in the bottom of some fraction. So now, this is pretty easy. To get A alone, I have to get this Q out of here. They're definitely multiplied. Remember when two letters are next to each other, multiplied. Divide both of these suckers by Q, and you're done. A equals 3P over Q. Elegant. Okay, here's a, I got another one. I have two more for you. The last one is a trickster's equation, so we'll see if you can figure it out before me. A lot of you like elite little math experts are probably doing these faster than I'm doing them. Congratulations, I'm proud of you. Look at this sucker. So you have A equals 2B plus 2C solve for C. So you probably know what to do. This, I need to get this alone as fast as possible, the two out of there, but first I'm going to minus my 2B to both sides. This is one thing that's weird about literal equations. You can't actually do what you want to do. I want to minus 2B. You can't subtract 2B from A, so you actually end up with A minus 2B and you leave it, right? Equals 2C. So again, if these were numbers, you know, 10 minus 5, you could do the subtraction, but when it's letters, you can't do it, so you just leave them, which is fine. It's good for the lazy guy. Divide both sides by 2, and this is your answer. C equals A minus 2B over C. Oh, I've made a mistake, world, internet world. Hopefully you caught that. It's over 2. So that's it. The last one involves something other than addition, subtraction, and multiplication. So I'll do it because I have a feeling like it'll come up in your class, and you'll judge me for not having taught you that, and I'll get some, some mean messages on my video. But this is it. You'd have something like A equals BP squared, and they say solve for P, right? And this is less straightforward. I know B, that's easy. I'm going to get rid of B. Let's divide that sucker out of there. Divide both sides by B. And then I have A over B equals P squared. But then I'm totally stuck. Like, I can't minus the 2. I don't know. Like, I can't divide the 2. How do I fix that? And the answer is, really, remember, algebra is about what's the opposite of what's going on. What's the opposite of squaring something is actually square rooting it. So I would root both sides. This becomes square root of A over B, and then the square root of P squared is just P. And if you didn't know that, put that on your list of things you now know. Uh, and so these are a bunch of examples of literal equations. They're all over the place. They can get weirder than these. They can be easier than these. But in essence, literal equations are nothing but solving for one letter, uh, just getting that one letter alone. And remember, if you're having a hard time with your local math class, you can uh, take this online at Silicon Valley High School, pass it there, and the credits will be transferred back to your high school.